Hello guys, and welcome to my channel. Due to YouTube copyright infringement, we only use one picture with voiceover. Thank you for understanding. If you love history and biographies, please leave a like and a sub. Let's start the video. Carl Sagan, born November 9, 1934, Brooklyn, New York, US, died December 20, 1996. Seattle, Washington, American astronomer and science writer. A popular and influential figure in the United States, he was controversial in scientific, political, and religious circles for his views on extraterrestrial intelligence, nuclear weapons, and religion. Sagan attended the University of Chicago, where he earned a bachelor's and a master's degree in physics in 1955 and 1956, respectively, and a doctorate in astronomy and astrophysics in 1960. From 1960 to 1962 he was a fellow in astronomy at the University of California, Berkeley, and from 1962 to 1968 he worked at Harvard University and the Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory. His early work focused on the physical conditions of the planets, especially the atmospheres of Venus and Jupiter. During that time he became interested in the possibility of life beyond Earth and the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. SETI, a controversial research field, he did much to advance. For example, building on earlier work by American chemist Stanley Miller and Harold Dewey, he demonstrated that amino acids and nucleic acids, the building blocks of life, could be produced by exposing a mixture of simple chemicals to ultraviolet radiation. Some scientists criticized Sagan's work, arguing that it was unreasonable to use resources for SETI, a fantasy project that was almost certainly doomed to failure. In 1968 he became the director of Cornell University's Laboratory for Planetary Studies. He became a full professor there in 1971. He helped select the Mars landing sites for the Viking probes, and he co-signed the messages from Earth that were attached to the Pioneer and Voyager probes that were launched out of the solar system. Sagan remained at Cornell until his death from pneumonia, a complication of the bone marrow disease myelodysplasia, at age 62. Although Sagan did important research on planetary atmospheres, in astrobiology, and on the origin of life on Earth, he made his reputation primarily as a spokesman for science and a popularizer of astronomy. In the 1970s and 80s he was probably the best-known scientist in the United States both an advocate for and a showman of science. He invested much of his career in improving public understanding of science and defending its rational nature. In 1973 he published, with Jerome Agel, The Cosmic Connection, An Extraterrestrial Perspective, which earned him prominence as a popular science writer. The following year he confronted the American writer Emmanuel Velikovsky in a public debate over Velikovsky's theories of the History of the Solar System. In 1980, Sagan co founded the Planetary Society, an international non profit organization for space exploration. That same year, he reached the height of his public fame with the television series Cosmos, which he wrote with his wife, and Drew Yang. The accompanying book, with the same title, became a bestseller. It was followed by several other books, including the science fiction novel Contact. 1985, which in 1997 was made into a successful film, and Pale Blue Dot, A Vision of the Human Future in Space, 1994. Sagan sometimes used his prestige for political purposes, as in his campaign for nuclear disarmament and his opposition to the Strategic Defense Initiative of U.S. President Ronald Reagan. In 1983 he co-wrote the paper that introduced the concept of nuclear winter, a catastrophic global cooling that would result from a nuclear war. Sagan was also co-author of The Cold and the Dark, The World After Nuclear War, 1984. A tireless advocate of scientific rationality, he argued strongly against tendencies towards pseudoscience and occultism, most comprehensively in his last major book, The Demon Haunted World, 1996, significantly subtitled Science as a Candle in the Dark. Although he denied that he was an atheist, Sagan expressed skepticism about conventional religion, 
which he wanted to replace with a scientifically based belief system. Some critics claimed that Sagan's arguments against traditional religious beliefs were simplistic and revealed his lack of theological insight. Sagan received numerous awards and honors, including the Pulitzer Prize for Nonfiction in 1978 for his book The Dragons of Eden, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration's Distinguished Public Service Medal, 1977 and 1981, and the Rusted Medal from the American Association of Physics Teachers in 1990. In 1994 he was awarded the Public Welfare Medal by the National Academy of Sciences, but he never succeeded in becoming a member of that prestigious academy.